Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Roberto Guido. I am one of the Dos Cocos Locos and today I'm going to be teaching you how to turn yourself into a gift sticker so that way you can post it onto Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, Facebook Messenger, literally everywhere that gift stickers live, you're going to be up in there. So let's dive into it. All right, so first I use After Effects, but you can use basically any program that helps you remove any green screen um, backgrounds. But for this purposes, we're, we're gonna be using Adobe products because that's just what I use. And yeah, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring this video file that I have of myself with the green screen of myself just answering the phone. I'm kind of confused, I'm like, who is this? and yeah we're gonna just turn that action into a gif so i'm just gonna go ahead and before i import that i have to change a few settings in after effects so right here in after effects we're gonna click on new composition i'm just gonna type in um phone and gif because that's what i am doing uh you want to make sure your dimensions are 1080 by 1080 uh, we played around with this with these settings and these for us uh work best especially for live action gif stickers um the frame rate is usually going to be like 60 or 24 but we're actually going to bring it down to 12 um and that's only because my laptop can't handle that many frame rates when it's exporting like a gif sticker like that and honestly you can't really tell the difference specifically for gifs because it's pretty they're pretty uh static like that anyway so it comes out smooth and you're not really able to tell the difference anyway and the duration we're probably going to keep around eight uh, probably seven seconds just depending on how long your your gift sticker takes to do its full action so i'll probably just do eight just to be on the safe side but you want to try to keep it within that time frame just because when you're posting those stickers on instagram stories typically they last for about 15 seconds so you want to have your gift be able to kind of cycle through at least twice maybe three times depending on how short it is so that's what we're going to keep and then the background we're just going to keep the same like that i'm going to click ok so now we have our composition ready now i'm just going to drag my file into after effects just like so it's going to do its thing and boom all right so we got a green screen i'm just going to drag it over to the part that has me answering the phone so right here picking it up Doo -doo. all right so i'm just playing around with that so i'm just gonna click spacebar to kind of just see the action real quick picking up the phone kind of confused hanging it up and i'm good to go so i'm just gonna bring it back i'm using a max so i'm just pressing command arrow to kind of just go frame by frame so i close it and then that's it so i wanted to end there so i'm going to click n and that's basically just telling the program i just want it to be focused here um if you want you can also do um i believe it's option and then the close bracket sign and then that just kind of cuts um your file so that way it stops right there and then it just kind of goes blank after that so we're just going to go to effects and presets we're going to type in key and we're going to click on the key light and spill suppressor effect click and drag it on top of our file here and now we have our effect here but as you can see nothing happened that's because we haven't changed that angle of settings all right so right here under your effect control panel you're going to see screen color it's automatically going to be set to black um, but as you can see our background screen color is not black it's actually green just to be on the safe side you want to make sure that it's a solid green color that has no wrinkles and i'm going to click on this side because it's just going to be a better overall pre-cut of the green screen so now we have this i'm kind of cut out now which is good but if you zoom in especially like towards my glasses and stuff you can see there's kind of like a green um area behind it so it doesn't look too good and if we were to export this right now it, it would actually show a little bit of that green so we want to try to get rid of that but before we get to that we want to go to our view settings and you're going to click on screen map and this is just going to turn black and white you want to make sure that your whites are as white as possible and your blacks are black as possible so right now as you can see there's some gray area here you want to try to get re remove any gray area just so that you have nice clean gif sticker once it's all done so we're going to go to screen mat under these options here the clip blacks this is just going to make the blacks blacker so i'm just going to bring it up a little bit in the clip whites i'm going to bring it down and it's just going to make the whites 
quieter and as you can see here we're already looking a lot better there's no gray here anymore and then you can kind of just see that it's just black and white and that's kind of what we wanted so now we're going to go back to view click on intermediate result and now we're back here and then for the last part in after effects we're almost done guys you're just going to go here where it says advanced spill spread so you're going to click on this checkbox you're going to turn that effect on and then that kind of just removes all the green around my face so as you can see it kind of adds like a little black layer on top of it and we're good to go so i'm gonna just unzoom there I'm just gonna click playback one more time to make sure that's what i want so i'm picking up the phone answering i'm confused blah blah blah, blah, blah. i'm just gonna skim through this and then i'm hanging up and one thing you want to make sure is that you don't want to export so right now if i were to export it it would have that little blank frame here so my gif would actually end on an empty frame so you want to make sure that your gif does not end on an empty frame because if it does it's just gonna basically disappear for like a half a second and although it's just one frame it's definitely noticeable so you want to make sure it actually ends on where you want it to end so it's gonna end right here and then it, i'm not going to export this part so we're going to be good to go there so then you're going to click file export add to render queue and click on lossless and then in order to export your gif with a transparent background you're going to go over here where it says channels and then you're going to export with rgb and alpha and that goes with anything and after effects if you make something after effects and you just want like your thing there but like the background to be completely transparent that's how you do it you click ok and then you're gonna go here phone gif that's where i want it and i'm gonna save it onto my hard drive which is guido hq2 and then I click save and then i'm gonna click render and then it's after effects gonna just do its thing gonna render my gif sticker here and yeah so i'll be back in a second boom and for those of you who don't use after effects that's like my favorite sound ever because basically after effects is telling you your, your thing is done so yeah so we got our gift sticker almost ready so now we're gonna actually move from after effects to photoshop because for some reason after effects doesn't let you export as a gif file yet so you have to use photoshop in order to do this but it's just an extra step but it's okay it's not too hard so you're gonna click create new and again we're going to stick with the 1080 1080 and we're going to click create so now we're here in photoshop you're going to click file import video frames to layers Doo -doo -doo. and then you're going to go to wherever you saved your gift file for me i just saved it onto my hard drive which is right here so i'm going to click open and then it's going to give you kind of like a preview um, and then you can just click play and kind of just see how your gif is going to look like and then i'm just going to cycle through it so you want to make sure it ends on an actual frame of yourself if it's if it ends on a black frame then you accidentally exported an empty frame with your gif and it is going to cut out for like that half second so you want to make sure that does not happen if that happened you have to go back into after effects move it up a frame export it again and then go back to photoshop so you just want to make sure you do it right the first time because they'll just trust me i've done it a couple of times before and it's just a pain in the butt so you want to make sure you can avoid that if possible so you're going to click ok once you see that it looks good it's going to put it here and then these are all your layers of your stickers now you can see why i only wanted to use 12 frames because if i use way more it would basically be a bunch of layers and my laptop would just freak out maybe your laptop has a lot of space and it doesn't have to worry about that but for me it does so that's just what i gotta do so it's good to go um you're gonna click file export and then you're gonna save for web legacy so it's gonna have all of these uh different settings i don't really mess with them too much i played around with them a couple of times they all kind of relatively look the same so i'm just gonna leave it like that you're gonna click save here you're gonna type in the name of your gif so i'm just gonna type in phone gif gif dot gif and then you're gonna click save you're gonna pick where you want it to save as again i'm just gonna save onto my hard drive so i'm gonna click save there and then it's gonna do its thing it's gonna think a little bit boom and there you go so you go back i'm just gonna go back to where that was saved so i just click space and it lets me kind of see the action of the gif so boom i'm there hang up 
and then I start over again. All right, so that's nice and clean. I look confused AF. Um, that's exactly what we were looking for. Um, that's roughly the general layout of how I turn myself and other people into gift stickers. So it's actually a service we provide and we have a lot of fun with it because we can basically have these really professional looking people be like, hey, do this and they're just doing that and it just looks really silly but we have a lot of fun with it for business owners specifically we're gonna make an, another video kind of talking about like why they're so powerful and like why your business should have gifts just from what we've seen so far and, and yeah so I hope this video helped out a lot go make some gifts go make some cool stuff uh, Marissa which is my wife she's actually sitting across from me that sounds weird <laughs> um, she actually makes gifts um, in animated form and she actually uses her laptop and stuff like that so she'll be making a video sometime soon <laughs> I don't know when that would be but she'll be making a video on her process as well so then that way you get to see the whole process of the Dos Cocos Locos GIF flow if that makes sense all right guys but in the meantime you take it easy enjoy whatever day this is and give you an Oscar. Awesome. Peace.